Well hello and welcome again to another House of Science Science at Home video. I'm coming to you from outside my house today, not the kitchen, because today's activity is an outdoors one. We're going to look at a stream and uh, in spe specifically look at how healthy that stream is. Now this is an activity out of our water analysis kit and we're going to do just a couple of the activities out of this kit, definitely not all of it. So what you're going to need today is some steady shoes and a, uh, a nice day so that you can go for a walk and find a stream near your house. And when you get to that stream, you're going to need um, some, some ways of investigating a little bit. Now I've got a cute little net like that. You might have one of these at home. If not, then a, um, a sieve will work just fine. You're going to need some sort of container because you want to collect a few of the bugs hopefully that we find in our stream. So a container, just any plastic container will do. And a bit of a spade would be good too. It can be a little shovel or something a bit bigger like this. So that's all you need today. Um, so come with me, let's go for a walk. So I hope that you have a stream near your house that you can have a look at. And um, in an ideal world, you can find two streams and compare them and see which one is more healthy. And we're going to learn what it is exactly that you want to look at to determine whether a stream is healthy or not. So here I am at my stream. You can hear it bubbling away uh, right next to me. It is um, quite overgrown. It's not easy to get to, but uh, I'll show you what I can see. There we have it. So one of the first things we look at for our stream is the stream bed. Is it mostly sand? Is it a mixture of sand and rocks? Or is it only rocks? And as you can see, there's a mixture here. We have some sand and some rocks. The next thing I'm looking at is the rocks itself. And are they covered in algae? And if so, is it lots of algae or just little bits of algae? And I can only see very few algae which is the green stuff just on that rock there they're not long bits and overall there's not a lot of algae in this stream next we're looking at whether there is any um, pools which are deep places or riffles which are um, like little rapids or runs which is deeper deeper water that connects the riffles and the pools now there's a little pool here and there's some uh, run there and behind me you can hear the riffle. Another thing you look at when you're looking at a stream is how shady is it. Ideally the stream should be completely in shade. Now it's a very warm sunny day today and as you can tell down here in the stream there is no sun at all so this is a well shaded stream. Next thing we're looking at is the banks of the stream. Is there any evidence of erosion or are the banks pretty stable? Now there's a little bit of erosion happening there but overall I think the banks of these stream, this stream is pretty stable. The last thing we're going to look at is the insect or invertebrates in our stream and I'm using my little green net to fish up some, um, some bugs from under the rocks and you can see a little spider that I found here and this is a mayfly. Now they're an example of an organism found in healthy streams and here's a crane fly, another really good example of uh, the fact that this is a healthy stream. To find more information about what insects can be found in healthy and unhealthy streams, do some research on your regional council website. So I hope you enjoyed my little expedition down to the neighbour's stream, which is in the native bush behind me here. So you can see there's lots of shade and it is well protected. So we looked at some of the stream's characteristics, including um, the stream bed, where there are rocks or sand or a mixture of, of both. We looked at whether there were any algae on the rocks, and if so, how much algae was there? We looked at the, the water, were there any uh, pools or riffles or runs or a combination? Ideally, we like to see all three, and I think we did see that in our stream today. Uh, we looked at how much shade there was. A great stream has lots and lots of shade and in this case there was plenty of shade even on this hot sunny autumn day and we looked at the bank if there was any indication of erosion and we did see a little bit but not a lot so that's a good sign 
And lastly, we looked at the invertebrates or the animals that can be found in the stream. We found a few, not a lot, but what we did find was really promising. So um, when scientists uh, ascertain how healthy a stream is, they look at some other factors as well, including the temperature of the stream, uh, the flow rate, um, the pH or acidity of the stream, and some other nutrients that they can find there, like the nitrates that might be present. So those are all things that uh, are part of our kit as well, actually. So when you do this activity uh, in class with your teacher, you can look forward to some other things. But for now, uh, that's what we were able to do at home. I hope you have a lot of fun finding a stream near you and having a look at how healthy that is. See you later.